Good early morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, we're actually going fishing. So, got the nitro behind me, headed to uh, one of my old stomping ground lakes uh, here in Tallahassee. Well, it's a little bit north of Tallahassee, but uh, it's been on this channel before. It's called Lake Iamonia, and uh, we're gonna go out there and see if we can have ourselves a little frog fest. Uh, it's a great frog fishing lake, um, but you can catch them uh, on swim baits, chatter baits, swim jigs. Uh, they're bedding right now, so who knows what we might be doing, really. Um, there's even a couple worm spots, um, but you know, it's it's hard to beat uh, throwing a frog in one of the little boat trails out there. It's The whole lake is covered in pads. It, it has a bunch of boat trails cut through it, um, just like little highways or roads. and. Um, <coughs> The fish know it. The fish know that those are highways to get around or something like that because you can just about smack them every time. So uh, that's where we're headed. And uh, we will uh, go ahead and uh, cut the intro here. See you back at the ramp. All right, welcome to the Bull Headley boat ramp. Some folks call it Bull Headley, I call it Bull Headley. I don't think it matters, but I think the correct pronunciation is actually Headley. And uh, it's a nice, brisk spring morning. Already some bait fish running around. Hopefully these bass are in a somewhat aggressive mood. And uh, let's go get them. Well, that was a complete miserable failure. That fish absolutely had it, and uh, I had him, and that's frog fishing in the pads. But uh, I'm gonna rig up another one. Weightless swim bait hook with a spring. Just gonna rotate the bait on. I've showed this a few times on here. This is just the way that I like to fish a, uh, a buzzing frog, a soft plastic frog. And uh, I just rotate it onto the nose. That's not the best job right there, but it'll work. I put a hook slot in the bottom of my frog like that. I just push it up and just Texas rig it on there. Hopefully we can get another one. Oh, finally, finally, finally. This little bass <clears throat> waked up behind that frog <clears throat> very slowly. So, first one on the Florida frog. This is just some leftover stuff that I had, just made a frog. So, on the board with a nice pound and a halfer. I'm happy to have him though. Get him! He's got it! Brandon's on. Get that fish, Ying. Get that fish. Oh, yeah. This is his second time hooking the same fish. Get him in. Perfect. Beautiful. Ah, oh, you 
gotta love these ammonia bass. Look how little stalky that little thing is. So Brandon had just, and that's a uh, here. Show him the bait. This is a uh, this is a jerk bait, a zag as I call it. Yeah. Nice dark, beautiful, yeah. beautiful fish. Well, we've got two like that, so that's two more than I had when I woke up this morning. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Pound bass that yeah. got off. Yeah, but had it been an eight pound bass, I'd have had to get the net, which I don't see. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, had it been an eight pound bass, I would have put the camera down and like helped you land it. <laughs> Could have been like any size. Hey, technically, bass. by some fishing merits, that is a, a landed bass because it touched the boat. Right, yeah. If we were tarpon fishing, that's a catch. Well, that was what we saw chasing. Yep. And that's funny because that's a big pike. That was a good and pike. And that little. When it chased that minnow, I was like, oh, that's small. That's like a speck or something. Oh. Oh. Got him. Brandon's on again. Get that fish. Nicely done, man. Guys, you just cannot beat a soft plastic dirt bait sometimes. There you go. Talk talk to the viewers. Talk to the viewers at home. Folks at home. Folks at home. He's killing me. Yeah, well... There's a little opening over here. He's probably sitting right by the edge, bedding. A little bit better size. Look at that color on him, though. Oh, yeah. Look at cool. those lines. Just yeah, oh, gorgeous yeah. fish out here. These dark, natural Florida waters, man. Cannot beat it. But again, the one a watermelon zag by land is the limit. Cannot beat it out here on Lake Imonia. I agree. Put him in the box. I should have known box. that I would be out this by the mighty zag. All right. <laughs> one throw the If I had to throw it, I would have put it out. Put the battery would have died by now. time <laughs> guys <laughs> I had to work for this little squeaker <laughs> gosh almighty toughest little pound and a half bed fisher ever but uh, got him got him on a uh, blue and silver grass grenade I guess that was just leftovers one day in the shop but uh, we're definitely having a dink fest today <laughs> yeah there's there's the bed right there folks where we caught that giant. See behind the tree? Oh, you can't see it right now where you're at. Two different fish moved. Like fish fish? I think they were fish. Back in the sea wall. Yeah. There's something that swam off and moved. I wonder if this algae though, like, runs them out of here. Yeah, they want that clear, nice black hole. Oh, there it is. Oh, he was tiny. So over there. All right, well, that solves algae. Theory. You got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a two pounder. Hey, yeah, he stung me and I had no idea. Well, that was. What do you think? World's worst fishing. It came true again. We lived up to we it. We lived up to it just admirably and, uh, that's what I get for naming my channel that. You know, I I really brought this on myself. I'd, I'd agree with you on that one. Folks, we suck. Bad. We'll see you at the crawfish boil. I put them really close to the camera. They look huge, right? Yeah, boy, that's just... That's, strong arm in these jokers. I mean, golly, what a sack. Well, we, we might take these home for the fryer. This is just bad. You know what, though? That's four more than I had when I woke up. It's true. So... Now it's time for some crawfish. Crawfish. Better luck next time, huh? All right, everybody. So we've got the boat back at my parents' house. So this is uh, the house that I grew up in. And uh, so we have the boat parked here. German beer in the hand. Some people showing up. Here's Big Bird. He's driving my, uh, my old granddad's. Did you say German beer in hand? German beer, look at you. And uh, yeah, he's driving my granddad's old Bronco. Got it fixed up and running. Oh, you got some German beer too, look at you. Yeah, look at me. And here's the star of the show. Rinsing off the crawfish. Look at that. Oh, here's a Mondo. Ooh. Oh, Mondo down there on the ground is dead, bro. Mondo. I can't wait. Um, we have the concentrated crab boil liquid. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
All right, potatoes, corn, lemons. All right, onions. Folks, it's about to go down. Oh yeah. Simple Jack's here. Angel, say hello. Hello. So what we need to do is start bed fishing with these. I'd have, I'd have caught that fish today. Like, oh, you're you're not, you're not. Angel doesn't approve of that kind of behavior. <laughs> Donnie just saw that. Yes, sir. Oh, Donnie, would you look at that? That needs a lot more though. Here's Landon. He has a crawfish boil shirt on. Hey, buddy. Say hey, buddy. Oh, oh look at that juiciness, folks. All right, hold on. Yes, sir. Do we not have enough room? Oh yeah, get them in there. Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh. That was heavy. Perfect. Mash them down. Yeah. Who's who's got the boat paddle? Oh, all right. Yep. Mash them in there. Hey, old school boat paddles still come in handy. So we have Julie, my wife, playing with Brandon's uh, youngest child, Savannah. They don't know who Brandon is. Big Bird, sorry. That's my child. Hey, nice shirt. I made that. He did make that. Made that he, made, he made both these children with this lovely young woman. This is my cousin, Virginia. Here, babe, say hey to everybody. They don't ever see my wife. They only see Bates. Uncle Salt, Salt Shaker, what are you? We're about to start on these crawfish, guys. Oh, All right, these are the mild ones. Mild's going over here? Mild ones, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of room. Yeah. Here, get, here, get, get your hand on that. You get the better one, this is, I can't. Oh my God. Here, here. Thank okay. you. No, okay, okay. I didn't even get my hand on this. Just, just get your hand on it. Let me hold both of them. All right, you know what, you do it. Yeah. This table's a little bit uh, angled, yeah. Oh my God, we lost a potato. All right, here we go. They're gonna get a little mixed in, but that's okay. Oh, Billy. Well, you just have to. You, know just, where you're you, you just have uh, to deal with it. Tell. Those are very red. <laughs> yeah. That's all, that's the line on time right there. Woo. Don't they look yummy? To me. Buddy, when are the next other 50? Oh, yeah. Right. Everyone gets, everyone gets to, to go back. Beautiful. Beautiful, everybody. Yes. Cool down yet? All right, Big Bird's going to show us how to do it. So you use the hands. Yeah, get that, get that, get that claw later. meat. Yeah, there you go. All right. People overlook the claw meat. They do, especially on these big ones. Especially on the Mondos. The blade's been soaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. what I'm really looking forward to. So, you want to break it right at the top of the spine right here? Yeah. And then, the yeah. fun part, you ready? Yeah, there you go. You're going you're gonna to want to suck and squeeze at the same time, so ready? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. Discard it. And All right. You to peel the back mm. off, and then you want to get the meat out. Well, hold on, yeah. Yeah, peel it apart. Yep. This is the poop line. Yep, yep, yep. Get that out. It's just extra protein. It is yeah. extra protein. Yeah. So you want to You're not good at showing that. All right, there we go. I'm doing it on television, okay? All that work just for that, and it is so worth it. All right, Avery cleaned one of those bass that Brandon and I caught today. Florida. And boiled it in the crab oil. Crawfish boil. That is awesome. We'll see how it is. Yeah, that's good. Dude, I don't know if that or bass boil next year, yeah? That's pretty good. We're doing a bass boil next year. Bass boil next year. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in today and watching this video. Uh, we struggled a little bit on the lake. Uh, I had, we probably had about 15 bites total, um, which is a great day if you catch them all, but. Um, Frog fishing in the pads, and it, it, when, when it's just so windy like that, you you have so much wind slack in your line. I mean, I I hate to blame a bad trip on conditions, but it's tough. Um, I mean, it was even hard to control the retrieve on a swim jig or, or you know some even something with a weight on it, much less a topwater frog that's surfing the waves and the wind. So uh, we did the best we could. So I mean, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I had a great time. Um, it's always good to go. Um, to go to some of the lakes I grew up fishing on so um, and I hope you enjoyed the crawfish blog you know I, I don't do a whole lot of just blogging on the channel it's usually you know pretty 
straightforward content. You know, you kind of know what you're going to get. So I try to break it up a little now and then. Uh, if and when something exciting happens in my life and a crawfish day is the best day of the year, it is better than Christmas. At least I think so. But um, anyway, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you do your crawfish. Um, and uh, yeah, crawfish season is the best. So we will uh, wrap this video up. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in. And we will catch you next time.